Hey, Shalom, Yashallah. Peace be unto the nation Israel, whom are my day so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, a speck of our Israelites, whom are the Israelite foreigners, scattered across the four corners of the earth, including within America, Babylon the Great, and anyway, the Most High Yahweh chosen people of the nation Israel. So, without further ado, as always, just want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashak, Yahweh, Ruch, Wadash. Which is our praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten and anointed Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, who was our strength and our Redeemer and our light and our salvation. And with that, my Shana, Kabwadim, Laha Sequanim, Shalakalabarakab, which is double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, and true shepherds of Israel, pushing a sound doctrine of faith, truth, and sincerity, and Shalawam, honor and salutation to by Yashad the elect governing body of the 144,000, along with the rest of the one third elect men, women, and children of Israel. All right, and this is fellow servant, Malak Rayab. She's back at it again with another World War III algorithm edition. All right, one of these last few major prophecies are uh, coming to pass. All right, uh, steadfastly before uh, our Lord and Savior, Hamash, like how he returns with the angels to deliver us out of uh, the main place of our captivity, Babylon the Great, or right, by destroying this place, the sinful kingdom in Amos 9 and 8 and other precepts. All right, um, you know, in, in the midst of these, these war drums beating loud and louder, all right, that much more further within these rumors of wars, okay? Spoken about in St. Matthew 24 chapter, all right? Including um, the recent rumor of war down there in, um, in uh, Kazakhstan, all right? Which is in uh, which is located in Central Asia, all right? Uh, uh, you know, bordering China and Russia uh, from, the, from the Caspian Sea to the east of uh, Kazakhstan, uh, on, on the west on the west side of of, of uh, Kazakhstan during the uh, near the uh, Caspian Sea, uh, bordering China to the east and uh, Russia to the north, all right. Which is why you know, the scriptures speak about uh, the Lord, uh, uh, you know, making his sword, you know, uh, uh, you know, saturated with the blood, all right, of the wicked, all right, in in the north country by the Euphrates, man, all right, because that's 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 uh, 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 all right, on the so-called common side of the world, where the kings of the east, all right, are having their hearts prepared for war, like it says in the book of Proverbs, where the, the king's heart is within the hand of Yahweh, and he's preparing the kings of the east for this final showdown, man. So as of recently, there was another rumor war down there in Kazakhstan. There's a former uh, or, or uh, ex-Soviet nation, um, you know that that uh, you know that's being infiltrated, um, you know by you know the the powers that be. You know, case in point within the, within the uh, the initial media report. You know, it was it was interesting that today is the uh, one year anniversary of the Capitol riot uh, from a uh, a year ago down there in D.C. or down here in D.C. in in, in uh, Babylon, and uh, this will happen to happen on the same day. And the initial number of casualties of of the the number of law enforcement down there was thirteen, which reminded me that the the Council of Thirteen. And then today, you know, is uh, June six, which six is the number of the man of, of of sin. Okay, so there's nothing new in the sun. You know, we're not ignorant these devil devices. This this had the writings of a psyop all over it. But through the spirit, you know, this is just this this is another, uh, uh you know, an, uh, uh, another uh, rumor of war. All right, prophesying the scripture, nonetheless, that this war is getting ready to take place, man. So I'm going to bring out this information and filter everything to biblical prophecy. And then uh, Autumn Rogers, all this is for the edifying for the sake of the elect who comes across this video. All right, so this is um, DailySabah.com. It says, who is to blame in oil-rich Kazakhstan's major gas price hike? All right, it says, the sudden and steep hike in the prices of liquefied petroleum gas used widely in vehicles in Kazakhstan coupled with the government's response or lack of response prompted citizens to flock to the streets in protest as 2022 was just beginning. And in this in this year, 2022, all right, the year to turn up is it started off with a bang, man. Okay, all kinds of death, you know, wrapped the news, uh, celebrity Jake's being being put to death, you know, celebrities in general, John Madden, Betty White, okay, uh, them eleven people down there in Philly burning to death in an apartment complex, I believe, or just all kinds of judgment left to right, man. Then you got this situation, okay, you got you got Frex, you got France talking about leaving NATO. You got uh, these so-called Nordic countries, you know, otherwise known as North countries of uh, so-called Germanic tradition and influence, um, you know, on behalf of uh, uh, Finland and Sweden, you know, uh, uh, entertaining the idea of joining uh, NATO 
Well, you got a current NATO ally, France, talking about leaving, especially after Macron, uh, you know, suggested that they should deter from, uh, you know, uh, you know, the Western influence of, uh, uh, you know, of, of armed security. You see, so all these things happening is further confirms that we're, these times are getting darker and darker because Yahweh by Shem and Shai is pulling a plug on this place. Why? Because this Idumean Confederacy is destroying the earth, man. And a branch of that is democracy. And that's why down there in, um, you know, Kazakhstan, okay, you know, the, 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 you know there's essentially, a, you know, a, a pro-democracy protest going on there by way of these, uh, by way of that, you know, that oil spike down there, similar to the France OECD tax uh, uh, increase, where they had the yellow jacket protesters out there protesting for years. Okay, now you got this situation. Okay, because like it says in Sirach 39, verses 26 to 27, these devils would uh, we weaponize the resources of the masses, man. Why? Because the rulers seek, the, 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 the people seek the rulers' favor. And these, and these devils understand psychology and how the human brain works. When you take things from, from you take vital things from people and they react a certain way, like beasts, and that's what they're doing down there as a further demonstration in Kazakhstan, because this is a further uh, test run or uh, to further furbish your sword for this this last world's war, man. Okay, it was going to it's going to start in, in um on a civil level before it, before it uh you know before it transitions over to a full you know domestic or global level, all right, which these nations will get involved, you know, including uh. Uh, the IDF, the Israeli forces, you know, you know, warring with Iran. Okay, like it says in Jeremiah, the 49th chapter, how the least of the flock shall draw them out. They're going to have Russia back up, you know, back Iran, China back Russia. Okay, you know, and these other nations are going to play their roles, man. So this is what we're, this is one of the last few major prophecies. Okay, in Kazakhstan, is just another piece of the puzzle. So it says, um, it says, uh, from the top, the sudden and steep hike in the prices of liquefied petroleum gas used widely in vehicles in Kazakhstan, coupled with the government's response or lack of response, prompted citizens to flock to the streets in protest as 2022 was just beginning and a rare outburst for the Central Asian country in its recent history. You know, see this, like it says in the second edge of the 15th chapter, has to be sedition among men. Okay, people, you know, uh, uh, you know, opposing their, you know, their, 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 uh, you know, the governing forces, they're, they're, they're modern-day kings and princes, as it says in 2nd Ezra uh, 15, around, 11, uh, around uh, the uh, 15th verse, okay, on down, okay? These, these corrupt, uh, vile uh, government officials and politicians, okay, on behalf of a communistic party, okay, mainly down there in, in Kazakhstan and, and similar territories, okay, all right, because... Um, you know, like it says in Proverbs twenty the twenty second chapter, all right, you know, they would seek to rule over the poor, roughly paraphrasing. So it says, uh, the protesters' questions are clear. What was the reason behind the hike and who was to blame? The price per liter of, of LPG jumped to one hundred uh, twenty tens, just twenty eight U.S. cents at gas stations in the hydrocarbon rich uh, Mongolstau, where up to ninety percent of vehicles run on uh, LPG. All right. Uh, liquefied uh, petroleum gas at the start of this year compared to the price of 50, 60 tens the year before igniting the unrest. You know, that's a further, um, you know, uh, you know, revelation that, you know, you know, this, this, uh, this world is, 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 you know, dying through age. Like it says in second edge of the 14th chapter, man, by way of these, these assets and, you know, um, you know, commodities and, Natural resources being dwindled, like like down there in the Euphrates, drying up. Okay, prophesied in Revelation 16 chapter. Why? Because the wicked is bearing rule, so the people are mourning. Because they see this this world dying, and they're and they're, and they're wondering why. This is a further plea from the poor to the to the wealthy. Like why why is this happening? Why are you behind this? Because people are protesting the manner in which they are, because they clearly know that there's a government that's behind it. These corrupt vile governments, man. Okay, and that's why the sedition among men in Second Ezra 15 chapter is taking place. Okay, another one of the End signs in Second Ezra the ninth chapter, okay, that we would be in these ending times, these perilous times. Um. All right, so um. It says a nearly hundred percent rise that doubled the prices in the oil-rich region prompted almost countryside demonstrations. The unrest has already prompted the nation's president to uh, sack the cabinet on the fourth day of the protests. All right, so some more than two hundred people were detained as of Wednesday in a protest that first started in Zanzibar and. Uh, Swept across the country, 
including the capital, Nur Sultan, and Almaty, the business capital and largest city. President, the, the current president, Kasim Jamar Tokayev, on Wednesday accepted the resignation of the cabinet headed by Prime Minister Oscar Maimon. He also imposed a state of emergency in Almaty and uh, Magistal province from January 5th until January 19th. This is a two-week curfew they, they, they uh, um, declared down there. Okay, so I'm going to get this... Uh, this uh this next article. Alright, Salakia. Alright, so we're going to uh so this is uh Russia sending troops down there. All right. It says uh this is on Reuters.com. It says Russia sends troops to put down Kazakhstan uprising as fresh violence erupts. It says police say they have killed dozens of rioters in Almaty Almaty, 18 members of security forces killed state D uh, TV. U.S. questions deployment of Russia-led troops. It says fresh violence erupted in Kazakhstan's main city of Almaty on Thursday as Russia sent in paratroopers to put down a countryside uprising of one of Moscow's closest former Soviet allies. It says uh, police in Albany said they had killed dozens of rioters overnight and to the early hours of Thursday morning, authorities said at least 18 members of the security forces had died, including two found decapitated. More than 2,000 people were arrested. You see? says, after a night of running street confrontation between protests and troops, a presidential residence in a city and his mayor's office were both ablaze and burnt out cars littered the city, Ruta journalist said. You see, so I held the breaking loose in the east. Because that's where that war is going to take place, around right? Yahweh Shapat, right in Euphrates River, man. Okay. All right. Prophesy in Joel, the third chapter, Revelation 16 chapter, and other precepts. All right. All right. So I'm going to get... um. Yeah, so that's pretty much that. This article pretty much also just further expounds on what was already read. 18 officers dead in Kazakhstan. Unrest over fuel price hikes. Okay, say uh, almost 2,300 people have been de detained. All right. All right, so, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get and see. And this is, and this is who, who, this is who's behind it, man. I'm going to, let me go ahead and, um. Uh, pull out this information here on this devil. All right, he's currently. All right, this is on. Yeah, so this is. Um, yeah, so this this was the um, the 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 reigning leader of almost three decades down in Kazakhstan from '91 when um, Kazakhstan uh, declared their independence from the Soviet the Soviet Union. Around the time that China did, around the time that Ukraine did as well, all right, and uh, and when, after they were after they claimed their independence, all right, uh, this devil here, all right, uh, Nazarbayev, all right, uh, became the, the the ruler of Kazakhstan, which is a uh, Idumean. You see, further fulfilling Micah the second chapter, how they they invade lands, okay, and, and oppress him, man, even to the point of. Uh, the demise of his heritage, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, like it says in that scripture. Matter of fact, we go ahead and get that real quick. Okay, it's further confirmed that this devil Ashash was behind this madness, man. Okay, this global chaos, because he is a man of sin and son of perdition. We go ahead and look that up real quick. Uh, let me see. Bay tree, Psalm thirty-seven and thirty-five. I have seen the wicked in great power. And spreading himself like a green bay tree. See? That's why now uh, uh, Genesis 27 chapter says that uh, his blessing be the sword to obtain a fatness of the land. Every time you turn around, this devil uh, is involved in, in, in catastrophe in, in the East. Especially in the East with do these proxy wars and whatnot. You know? You know, hence why, you know, the 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 the, uh, the Iraqi situation happened. Well, you know, you know, uh, over there. Their lust of, uh, of, of uh, you know, within their covetous heart to obtain the resources and minerals of this earth, including the poppy fields and, 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 and whatnot. Okay. So this is this this is this devil that's behind him, man. All right. And the and, and these, uh, uh, you know, the, the kings of the east. OK. You know, feel the need to respond. All right. Because they are being especially uh, the Russians. All right. Because, you know, they, they understand that they are, uh, 
you know, they, they, they understand the uh, significance of maintaining a leverage in the East, where you have you have a Ukraine that's been infiltrated, a former Soviet uh, country been infiltrated by America. All right. And um, and that's why during his most recent uh, meeting between uh, 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 Putin. All right. And um, uh, Sleepy Creepy Joe, he said, listen, if you slap sanctions on us or after we invade Ukraine, we're, we're going to cut off ties with you. OK, and that wasn't bad enough. You got uh, Finland. Matter, you know what I'm saying? You got you got Finland. All right. Bordering Russia. All right. Uh, talking about joining NATO. All right. Which which which. Uh, you know, Finland borders uh, Russia. All right, which which is which is between uh, 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 them and and uh, Norway. Norway is a NATO ally, okay. And uh, you know, so it's so, so I'm going to get the first precept, Revelation 13 chapter, Revelation 13 and one it says, and I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast right up right up rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. So NATO and the EU. It says, and upon his horn and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like into a leopard. I was talking about the Greek, a reference to the Greeks, all right, in the book of Daniel. All right. It says, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, which is which is a reference to Russia. All right. And his mouth as a mouth of a lion. And a dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. All right. And a dragon is the embodiment of the Roman Empire. All right. Modern day America, the extension of the Roman Empire. Okay. All right, the 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 whore that sits upon many waters, Revelation seventeen chapter, the wicked covering cast over the entire earth. Okay, who holds the chief seat of this Idumean council, the secret a uh, 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 satanic council of Satan. All right, who was given this image its power, this Idumean uh, uh, confederacy. All right, uh, verse three, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power to the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, who is like unto the beast who was able to make war with him? You see? So this, this is the mass of the world, including these nations under the, under the influence of Western philosophy, okay? Including democracy, all right? And this, and, 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 and this is why, this is a further reason why this place is going to be destroyed. Because like it says in Psalm 10 and 2, let, uh, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Okay, and when it went, in which in which is part of those devices? Okay, all right, politics. All right, like it says, uh, let me get here. Uh, Daniel chapter eight, verse twenty-five. And it says, and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. Okay, and down in Kazakhstan when that devil uh, took over. All right. That that Adumian. All right, what was his name? Um Yeah, uh, Nazarbayev uh, took over in 91. Okay? During a, during his first presidential election, okay? He he ran a communist uh, a communist party, man. All right, and, uh, 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 in which that political party was under the guise of democracy. And that's why, you know, these people got uh, uh, built up tensions, man. All right? Of oppression, all right, in 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 the midst of uh, the recent uh, spike of oil, the sharp uh, uh, spike of oil, okay, where people are uh, a majority are predominantly, uh, all right, in, in poverty down there, all right, so now they're taking it to the streets. Then, as a result of that, they lowered the 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 uh, the fuel prices, but that didn't stop the protests. So now you have Putin get involved, okay, to further increase his leverage in the situation, all right. You know, exercising a similar Idumean tactic to play hero. Okay. You know, so this is all gonna cause this is all gonna cause the kings of the east to eventually go to war with the with the dragon. All right. So um and that's why speaking of politics under that uh, uh under something called a CSTO, which is you know otherwise known as um a collective security treaty organization, or right, on behalf of uh, Russia. All right. They ended up establishing that foreign policy. All right. To protect, quote unquote, protect former Russian and Soviet republics. All right. From opposition. And that's why they got involved. 
all right, by way of this treaty, this policy, okay? All right, so there's a similar policy that these devils exercise in, in America, all right, to protect Ukraine, Taiwan, and so forth, and, and likewise Russia and these other kings of the East, man, all right? And, 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 their, and their battle over sovereignty, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, uh, I'm going to get, I'm going go to finish this off. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken with that hand, because this last world's war is going to be a war between the realms. Right now, you know, ironically, you saw got some shit called a gradualism, okay? All right, where they're gradually rolling out their agenda, within it, which entails war, okay? Orchestrated war within their... Um, then they're problem solving problem problem solving solutions. Okay, they're problem solving solutions through their through their uh, uh the calculations of their wicked devices, man. Okay. You know, you know, including their enchantments in the media, okay, you know, we're dealing with certain numerology, like I was like I alluded to in the beginning of the lesson. You know, for example, their politics, of course, okay, the military provocations, okay, that they justify. All right, like like down there, <laughs> down there, case in point. Kazakhstan tried to justify uh, attack, you know, uh, 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 putting in protests to death. All right, uh, by way of the fear of uh, Islamophobia, because there's a lot of Islamic um, uh, influence down there, dealing with the, the the consensus, so to say, of the the the, the variety of uh, statistical, uh, you know, uh, number of, of nations that's down there. All right, because Kazakhstan is the ninth largest country in the world. Okay, all right, whose GDP is up there with China, which is about sixty percent, because they they became wealthy off of uh, 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 off of oil. All right, so now with with the uh, large oil reserves, people are wondering why you know their 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 oil has increased so much. Okay, because the Earth was given to the hands of the wicked, man. All right, and this is all a part of their agenda. Hegelian dialectic, all right? And this is going to lead the, these kings uh, to go at it. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Obadiah, verse 1, or chapter 1, all right? Salakia. And I'm going to start at uh, verse 6, and it reads, How are the things of Ashashua searched out? How are, his, how are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. And that bread is, is, is you know, essentially that foreign aid they've been providing these countries, including military aid, through these uh, these weapon systems they've been selling them, these fighter jets and whatnot. Okay. All right. You know, and it's backfired on them. It has backfired on them. Okay. Because that's why, that goes into why NATO was formed. All right. To, could, to monitor the opposition. And you see, and that's why uh, uh, Russia... You know, Russia is, uh, is a part of this confederacy. They're exercising similar Idumian tactics, you know, especially through their uh, CSTO, their uh, Collective Security Treaty Organization, where they essentially have justified monitoring ex-Soviet uh, nations. So they can keep their influence over them. And that's why they're, 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 they're looking to, they're getting ready to invade Ukraine, okay? Because they know that if NATO gets a hold of Ukraine, they're going to be surrounded, man. All right? Being that Norway is already uh, 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 in their vicinity, Norway is a NATO ally, Sweden is in their vicinity, and Sweden is an EU ally, which is why they've been heavily in the news pushing the Kadagma, okay? You see? And so part, a part of the terms of uh, Putin and uh, Sleepy Creepy Joe's meeting was for NATO not to expand their, their territory beyond Ukraine, because they know if they get Ukraine, they're going to be surrounded, man. All right? So the rumors, so that, like it says in Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, all right, I believe it's the 46th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, it said there should be a, 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 a rumor in the land. Ultimately, that land is America, Babylon the Great, where this war is going to transition over to and destroy this place. That is, that is of the will of the righteous council of Yahweh by Shemir Shai, okay, to destroy the main place of the captives of, of uh, 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 Zion, okay, like it says in Joel, the third chapter, another precepts. So Obadiah 1 and 7 from the top, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Okay. So uh, 
So I'm going to go ahead and get, um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and get an article on that. All right. Let me see. Um, he's uh, dealing with, uh, yep, dealing with Germany. All right, teaming. It says presidential hopeful says France. What well, is his? Well, let me get into team, uh, uh, teaming in a little bit. It says presidential hopeful says France should leave NATO and partner with Russia. It says Jean Luc Mélenchon says leaving NATO bloc would help Paris avoid getting dragged into new Cold War. The leader of a French leftist party and presidential hopeful has called for the country to pull out the NATO alliance, revealing that he regards Russia as a partner for Paris rather than an adversary. Okay, you see that? So the leader of the leftist La France, all right, and Sunni, if you pronounce them correctly, uh, party, John B. Mélenchon, shared his insights on the new Cold War as France is placing a new major energy with France. Energy uh, and Anchor Radio Monday, Mélenchon further elaborated on France and the major energy and on Cold War. I am for leaving NATO. We need to de de escalate. If we leave NATO, we will not be dragged into Cold War logic that the Americans maintain with Russia and China. Okay. And down here, you see what it says. New German Chancellor to meet Putin warns, quote unquote, fresh start media. So that could be a uh, for the demonstration of uh, what they would deem Jexit. Okay. Germany exiting NATO. Okay. You know, just like you had, um, you've had, uh, you know, Brexit, you had uh, uh, reports of Nexit dealing with the Netherlands. Okay. All right. So whether Germany leaves or not, this is just, this is just a further omen that this devil is losing his wicked carbon cast over the earth. His, his spirit of bondage, the bondage of the mind under uh, 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 so-called white supremacy. Okay. And the ideology, the variations of the ideologies of this, of this wicked a uh, 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 way of, of living, okay? Do his democracy, bureaucracy, diplomacy, okay? Politics, okay? War provocations, all right? So this devil is losing all fronts, man, all right? Including uh, uh, his grip on his own alliance, okay? I'm gonna have him get that precept next, Revelation 17 and 16. And he reads... And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Okay? All right? So the ten toes are broken, like it says, and uh, partly uh, partly broken and partly strong. Part, uh, part, uh, uh, part clay and part iron. Okay? This NATO-EU alliance is going to be, is being broken up as we speak, man. Okay? As, 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 a, as a further part of, of the kings of the east, you know, uh, uh, afraid of gaining leverage, okay, against uh, against the harlot, the well favored harlot, in Nahum the third chapter, all right, and that's and that's this this harlot America, Babylon the Great, all right. So um, and so uh, so I'm gonna go back to uh, the scripture, Obadiah, Obadiah chapter one, I'm gonna jump down to verse eight. Actually, that was it. Well, actually, no, I'm going to keep reading. It says, Shall I not in that day, said the Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount of Ashashua? And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Ashashua may be cut off by slaughter. And who is Teman? Germany. Okay. Mentioned here. Due to spirit. New German Chancellor to meet Putin wants quote-unquote fresh start media okay so nato and eu is going to turn on america man this is all prophesied okay and that's why i hear my man uh macron said uh called on europe to quit dependency on u.s arms okay and this was several months ago all right when uh, uh sleepy creepy joe went behind uh france's back and signed that deal with australia and, and uh uk that weapons arms deal Okay, there's it it actually a thermonuclear arms deal with, with uh, Australia, all right, and Brex uh, 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 UK, okay, and I angered France, okay. You see, so this devil is losing ground with his own alliances, man, his own alliance uh, members, okay. 
You see, so the heat, and there's not very much time left, you know, for this devil, all right, to, to maintain his position on this earth. And he knows it. That's why he's moving around frantically, because he knows, you know, uh, one false move, which is inevitable, and that's his ass, man. All right? So uh, we get the next precept in the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 12. Revelation 16 and 12. And it reads, And a sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Okay? And this is where Frederick affirms where this war is going to take place. We're going to get a map real quick. Dealing with, uh, 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 you, know, the, you know, the area of Kazakhstan in that area. All right. Ex uh, a Soviet nation. All right. So uh, this is the map of Kazakhstan. All right. Bordering China towards the, uh, the southeast. All right, Russia, all right, with, within, the, uh, within the north, okay? And, and uh, down right and right down there, you know, towards the, uh, the southwest, you see Euphrates. Go ahead and enlarge it. Okay, right by Syria. Okay. Okay, oddly enough, around the, air, the, the, uh, the territories of these nations will be involved in this last world's war. For the prophesied in Ezekiel 38 chapter, including uh, uh, Turkey prophesied there in Ezekiel 38 chapter. Okay. All right. Of course, you got Syria. Okay. In regards to a lot of Iranian uh, military bases that have been attacked as of recently down there and have been within the course of uh, these, these, these uh, several years, these last several years, then those proxy wars down there. All right. And this is where this last war was going to take place. And you got up there, you got, you got Ukraine. Okay, you got Belarus, okay? And speaking of Belarus, uh, the EU, you know, was threatening on uh, slapping sanctions on them regarding the, uh, the Western border crisis, where uh, Belarus had threatened to cut off the oil supply into Europe, okay? And, and speaking of rumors of war, rumor has it that uh, uh, Putin would delight in that because he could, he could further justify swooping in and playing hero, further uh, increasing his leverage in the East, all right, because he sells um, at least 35% of, of oil to the EU, you see, and, and he's, these, these, uh, uh, these other uh, uh, kings of the East, okay? So Russia understands how vital it is to keep their, to, to, to increase their leverage in the situation because uh, America is doing the same thing, okay? And their tensions uh, and their relations are already, are, are, are worsening, Okay? So now they know, you know, as you see Ukraine there, if, if Ukraine becomes integrated in, in the NATO alliance, Russia is completely surrounded, man. Okay? Completely surrounded. All right? And going into the comment I made, you know, speaking of that, let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and, um, let me go ahead and uh, get that, uh, that article. It's on nationalnews.com. It says Sweden and Finland dragged into Russia's standoff with NATO. It says Moscow warns of serious consequences if the two countries join the alliance. And these are these two quote unquote Nordic countries. Okay. All right. Uh, Nordic, you know, basically being a spinoff of the word northern or north. All right. Because this is where this, this war is going to take place. All right. So it says Sweden and Finland found themselves dragged into Russia's standoff with NATO after Moscow threatened retaliation. The two Nordic nations became full members of the U.S.-led alliance. Russia said there would be serious military and political uh, consequences if the two EU countries, which carry out training exercises with NATO, joined it. So he said, he, so Putin, through Russia, said there would be, quote unquote, serious military and political consequences. See that? If the two EU countries which carry out training exercises with NATO joined it, because NATO is a military alliance of, of the uh, Idumean Confederacy, it says, uh, or the Western uh, 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 Aligned Confederacy, 
says it is the latest in a series of demands issued by Moscow as Western leaders try to persuade it to step back from its military buildup on Ukraine's border. Okay. Although keeping Ukraine out of NATO is Russia's main priority, its, its proposed new security uh, treaty with the West would also prevent any enlargement into the Nordic nations, which are outside its ex-Soviet sphere of influence. All right. So it says, um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So Khan, and once again, you know, Nordic is, is a, like right here, Nordic. You look up the word Nordic. All right. Nordic countries. All right. The word Nordic. So Germanic peoples in Northern Europe, and especially of Scandinavia. Where a lot of wickedness took place, you know, dealing with the history of Christmas and a twelve during a twelve, twelve day uh, win, uh, um, winter festival. Okay, where they would decorate the trees and whatnot. So this further confirms these devils, all right, uh, have 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 established a legacy of carnality and witchcraft, man. Not just in America, but in in Europe. All right. So dealing with the word Nordic. All right. All right. Uh, Nordic. Norden, okay, otherwise known as North, all right. So that's why, and uh, and that's why here in this precept, Jeremiah chapter forty-six, all right, Jeremiah chapter forty-six, verse ten, it says, "For this is a day of the Lord Yahweh of hosts, a day of vengeance, that He may avenge him of his adversaries, and the sword shall devour, and it shall be saturated and made drunk with their blood." For the Lord Yahweh of hosts hath a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. Okay. All right. So going back to that map. All right. To further substantiate the biblical prophecy where this last world's war is going to take place. Okay. Euphrates right here. Okay. All right. In the east, the so-called common world. Okay. Near uh, northern Russia. Okay, that's what I said here through the spirit, the Caucasus and Central Asia. Okay, because these devils, there's a lot of history here, all right, uh, dealing with the Caucasus Mountains, which you can you can see here, and uh, uh, well, between uh, the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea in Georgia, or in South Georgia, all right, where, where the Caucasus Mountains are at, where, where we chase these devils into during the uh, the Dark Ages when the Byzantines were ruling, when, when, which is Jake, okay. All right, so this this is where this is this war is going to take place in in, uh, in Asia, okay. Matter of fact, let me, go, let me get that precept next. Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse one. <clears throat> All right, Second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse one from the top, and it reads, "Woe be unto the Babylon and Asia." Woe be into the Egypt and Syria. Okay. All right, so twofold. It's, it's, this, this war is going to take place. All right. It's going to it's going to it's going to take place uh in in Asia within within, within the uh so-called common side of the world. Okay, within the kings of the east around the Euphrates River, Yahweh Shapat, Yahweh judgment, okay, the valley of of of, of, of or, or territory of, of, of the, the starting point of this war. All right, and 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 uh, uh, and the, and the 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 sinful kingdom likened it to Asia, a place of oppression. That's America, Babylon the Great. All right, because the Lord has a controversy with the land, like it says, um, in Scripture. All right, and that's why He's going to allow that war to transition over here by way of what means missiles. Okay, along with uh, uh, those uh, uh, who who are being who are going to be involved in this war, and especially those going to be involved. With uh, modern day Asia, okay, in a spiritual sense, all right, which is Babylon the Great, America, and her allies, and, and, and including Norway. And speaking of Norway and the kings of the East, all right, there's an article as of recently where uh, Russia threatened Norway, a NATO ally, another NATO ally, man. Okay, let me go ahead and get that real quick. Out of Ratazza. All right, so jump it down here, right here avia-pro.net it says russia ready to unleash hundreds of k I'll read this again russia ready to unleash hundreds 
hundreds of KH-35 cruise missiles on Norway. This reported on a couple of, a couple of years, so like a couple of days before so-called New Year's Eve. Okay. Says Norway's frankly provocative actions in the deployment of additional U.S. forces in this country may lead sooner or later to the fact that Russia can unleash numerous attacks on this northern kingdom with X-35 cruise missiles. The range and capabilities of the latter are sufficient to destroy cities such as Kirkenes or Verdi, not to mention the destruction of NATO military facilities in northern Norway. Okay. And as of recently, what was one of the... the um, the, the interest, you see, what well, was one of the interests, all right, of uh, of America recently, of Russia rather, to destroy NATO. One of the last uh, World War Three lessons I did, as a matter of fact, I believe it's my last World War Three algorithm, right here. U.S. delivers rockets to Ukraine. Okay, this is essentially a, a former, you know, a Russian. Uh, territory or province. So what, 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 what is America getting involved in that? Because she is uh, the whore that sits upon many waters. Putin right here. Putin to the West. It is not us. He said, it is not us who threaten anyone. See? It's, it's the, the, these devils on behalf of the West interve in, interfering, intervening other people's sovereign affairs. And that's what's going to get this place destroyed. Okay? You know, so that's pretty much that on that. Let me see if the, that article I was talking about is here. I, mean, I believe it might. This might be it. Nope. But I did a lesson on it already. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on in Second Edges. Second Edges 16. And I was number Satan. I had the I had the scripture pulled up. But uh, Second Ezra 16 and 1. Woe be unto the Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto the Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. But wear your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you and what is he that may drive them away? Now jump it down here to verse 7. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. And that's these... 200 million ICBM uh, missile warheads, man. That's why in Isaiah the 34 chapter speaks about the swords bathed in the heavens. Okay? And this is how this place is going to be destroyed very soon. What indicates that these last few prophecies coming to pass, man? And that's what's making these devils and, and the powers that be nervous. That's why they're moving more, uh, you know, frantically and sporadically and desperately. Okay? You know, uh, 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 you know, with, you know, this agenda. All right? And what happened down there in Kazakhstan is a is a is a, is a further, uh, you know, act. All right, um, of them furbishing their sword, using people as guinea pigs. All right, before this before this war actually, this full fledged war takes place, and this place is consumed within a, within the indignation of Yahweh by Shemir Shai. Okay, for there is no counsel against Yahweh by Shemir Shai, and like I said in Joel the twenty chapter. Okay. When their hearts, when it when their, when their belly shall get fat, that's when that's when the destruction is going to come. Roughly paraphrasing, that's when Yahweh Shah is going to come like a thief in the night. Because, like it says in Psalm forty nine and eleven, in their inward thoughts, their houses will continue forever. These devils don't see themselves falling because the Lord gave them over to their own derision. So what's going on down there in Kazakhstan and you know certain uh, surrounding areas in the east, especially in Euphrates, where the last world war is going to take place, and in here in the Babylon the Great, especially. It's all for naught, man. Okay, so it's all going to lead into this into a destruction. So all you you people out there, especially you people down there in Kazakhstan, pleading with 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 the slave master, the devil the Bible speaks of, to stop being a devil, you gonna you gonna be destroyed with him, man. Following after his dream, okay, a vain vision that will perish, like it says in the Book of Job, his Idumian uh, legacy. Okay, we're gonna come to a screeching halt because. Ishashua is the ending of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So this is 2nd Ezra 16 and 11. The Lord, Yahweh by Shemeshah, shall threaten who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. 
The earth quaketh, like it says in Isaiah 24 and 21. The earth shall shake violently to and fro like a drunkard. By way of the impact of these ICBM thermonuclear warheads, now 200 million of them, pursuing a revelation in the ninth chapter, all right, getting coming in contact with the shores of this place, causing a, 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 a simultaneous global uh, seismic uh, shaking, okay, removing the tectonic plates from underneath, uh, underneath the earth. It's going to be a terrible destruction, man, okay? And this is all going to lead to the salvation of Israel during this paradigm shift to our kingdom. That Yahweh is going to bring to us. So it says, 2 Ezra 16 and 12, The earth quaketh and the foundation thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai, and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. And that's why they call these ICBM missiles intercontinental ballistic missiles having the capability of traveling from one continent to another. And, they, and Russia's ICBMs and hypersonic missiles have the means of uh, reaching here in, in 20 minutes, okay? Because contrary to popular belief, Russia is really not that far away from America, okay? And America is going to you know, get in with this thing as well, with their missile, their, their patriotic missiles, their, their Minuteman 2 missile. Matter of fact, you know, they just there was a recent report, another recent report of war on America's behalf. In this article here, let me go ahead and get it. If I can get it real quick, Adam Rataza. Let me see. Um, let me see, man. Let me see. I think it's. Uh, it's an America. It's a, it's a uh, article dealing with these devils. I'm not showing it. Yeah, but basically, these devils uh, tested a, another weapon today. Matter of fact, if we go to Google. Let me see. It might be. It might be here. No, never mind. So. Uh, If you just click on Google, it's like one of the first stories that comes up. Yep, right here. U.S. top secret hypersonic weapons program could unleash mayhem on enemies with different payloads. All right. It says, um, from this document, it was also known that the full uh, formal name of the program has been changed from Expendable Hypersonic. Breathing demonstrator to hypersonic multi mission ICR and strike, ISR and strike. The name multi mission fusion has been associated with the project in the past as well. So the service is just like the adversaries are afraid of doing the same, and it's going to lead into the destruction. All right, so um, that's pretty much that. Um, so I'm going to end this off in a uh, Revelation, the 19th chapter. All right, Revelation chapter 19. All right, I'm going to start at um, verse 19. I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him and sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received, what is, you know, what it says there. M -O, -T M o to the T to the B. And them that worshipped his image, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burned with brimstone. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth. And that's going to be that, that uh, the contrary to heat that's going to be uh, shot out of the chariots, man, including the fathership, okay, of Yahweh Shai. It says, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. So all you, all you armies, this is going to be the aftermath of this, of this brewing Escalating a uh, uh, war, uh, uh, or rumors of wars, all right, that we keep hearing about, man, including uh, uh, Kazakhstan, all right, Finland, all right, Ukraine, especially Russia, China, Iran, all right, the IDF, and especially America, Babylon, the Great Man, all right, because the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to take all the all the crowns off your heads, all right, and destroy your armies. 
all right, before the kingdom of heaven is established on the earth. So I'm going to end it off there. Pray these lessons for the edifying, exhorting to elect, all right, um, who will come across the, the lesson and uh, give all praise and glory, infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashak, Abishai, Baruch, Wadash. All right, if you give me the spirit to do this video, Dad of Bob, DTA, Kwame, Allah, Shalom to the elect, and on to the next one.